get this back on. All right. Well, so let's start. Here, or we're going to be talking about 10 interesting facts that you, a person should know about white-tailed deer. White -tailed deer. Number one is white tail are very agile. Most can be seen roaming through the forest at a speed up of up to 30 miles per hour. And that was a fact that we did mention one day, or one in one video, that they... That... Sorry about that, guys. Someone's calling me. Um, and the one video, we talked about that, that they can go 30 miles per hour, and I think that's pretty darn fast. Don't yeah. you think, Jordan? Yep, it is. Especially going to the woods. I can barely run through there. Uh, it's probably like five miles an hour. We got one person on. Hi. We're just going through 10 deer facts. If you have any questions, just type in the chat. And number two, on average, white-tailed deer will feed about four times in a 24-hour window. And so white-tailed deer need to eat around eight pounds of vegetation per 100 pounds of body weight uh, per day. And so if one weighs 150 pounds, uh, can be seen feasting on about 12 pounds of vegetation a day. That's a lot of vegetation. Yeah, who knew? Who I didn't know deer can eat that much that they need to feed four times a day. Isn't that pretty cool, guys? Is that pretty cool, Jordan? Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. Number three is whitetails have a lifespan of 20 years in the wild. Although only a few deer will, will be at the age of 10 and many only live to be about two or three years old. That's pretty, I mean, I did not know that deer can live that long. Me neither. Well, 20 years, they can live to be 20 years. Very, probably not very likely, but Most like it's about two, two or three. Two to five years. Two to five, yeah. Whether they get hunted or hit by a car. Okay. And number four, when a white tail has large antlers, uh, the results are from a few different uh, factors. Uh, one is like nutritious food that they eat. And also their age as well. And uh, also the good genes is too. It's just like us as humans, if we have good genes, you know, we got good structure, good muscle, good athleticism bodies. And if we have the bottom end of the gene pool, you know, not, you don't have that body built that like an athlete is, I mean, I'm not really athletically built, just kind of skinny and pool all together <laughs> for gene pool. So if I was a buck, I would have little antlers. Okay. Oh. I just got out of our, X'd out of our thing. Gotta get that back up now. Sorry about this, this guys. We had trouble yesterday because of the we guess we had to wait 24 hours notice, have 24 hours notice before we could put, do our first live. So, sorry about that, guys. So, number five is white-tailed deer have scent glands between the two parts of the hoof on all four feet, outside of each hind leg and on the inside of each hind leg. That makes communication and identifica identification a piece of cake for these animals. So that's 
I did not know that they had the glands by their feet. I didn't. I don't know a lot about deer. What do you all know? Did you know that, Jordan? I knew that, but I didn't know they communicated that way either. Yeah. Number six. Around the last day of March and the first day of April, that's when the buck sandlers will start to grow. And they usually grow at the rate of about a quarter inch per day. And so this is something I knew. That's Yeah, you know, I knew that they grew that they Yep, yeah, grew back around April or May in the springtime. And that about this time they're shedding well they're couple already months. Shedded now. Yeah, they're shedded already. One of these days, Jordan and I want to go shed hunting, so we will bring you guys along with us when we do that one of these days. Yep, hopefully find a big, uh, couple big antlers out there. That'd be pretty cool. Are we on six? Seven. Seven. Number seven, female deer called does give birth to one to three young at a time. This usually happens in May or June. That's a fact that I kind of knew. I didn't know what time they did that. I didn't know they did three. I at least knew, knew they did one. Yep. For just, sure. Just like anything, they're younger, born in the spring too. Just when everything's getting nice and warm. So they have time to mature and prosper. But I suppose dogs... Anim most animals can have more than one litter mate, so I don't know why I thought of that. So didn't think of that. Yep. So it makes sense to have at least up to three. And number eight, more times than not, white tails are at rest uh, inactive during the daylight hours, making them um, nighttime animals. Uh, prime times to see white-tailed deer feeding mainly occur from before dawn until several hours later, and again from late afternoon until dusk. So, yeah, definitely, um, they got their resting moments, uh, especially in the heat of the day. When it gets um towards dark, when they get hungry, that's when they'll start moving again. That's pretty cool. That's when, why that time is um good for hunting. Yep. The morning and the dusk. Our morning and night because are getting towards the end of the night. And sometimes the afternoon works out too. Just kind of depends on the day, how cold it is. We have a friend that says he insists that he sees more deer in between eight and one. Did he say? Yeah, I think so. Eight and one o'clock. So that's, so yeah, I mean, that's from the morning and to the afternoon, early afternoon. Um, nine is white-tailed deer can swim at a speed of up to 15 miles per hour. Wow. I did not know that they could swim that fast. Not me neither. I wouldn't be able to swim close to that. <laughs> no. Just shows how, That's it how... just shows how agile they are. <laughs> yeah. That's half the running speed in water. Yeah, to me that's crazy. Number 10, a white tail's vision is very distinct and they can only see uh, shades of yellow and blue. And they can view landscapes, forest fields at about 310 degrees radius. And so basically you can wear orange and don't move and they won't see you. And I know too that deer have really good I. The, is they don't have or they do have good eyesight or they don't they don't they have they don't really good hearing but the, yeah it's hearing that they have really good they're gonna be the ones that hear you up in the tree stand or in down in the blind if you're making noise yeah if you're making noise well that's the 10 facts that's what we wanted to come on here and show you guys tell you guys or talk to you guys a little bit but only one person came on. So we're going to just let you guys go and hope you guys have a good night. Unless that one person has a question or comment. Yeah.
give you a few seconds to type and if not that's fine no pressure but we're gonna go thank you for joining Thank you. We'll do this again sometime. Let us know. Comment and let us know if you guys enjoyed this, if you want us to go live more often, or if you prefer the other videos. Well, have a good night, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.